Warning, this video contains scenes of a sexual nature. Okay, so we've gotten a lift back to the trailhead. Continuing on the CDT, we have lost Buffalo Chicken. She decided that the trail wasn't quite working out for her this time. So for the moment we are three. That's myself, Pirate and Nature. Hopefully we'll catch up with Dr. Fausto and Mr. Fabulous at some point soon. Maybe somewhere between here at Pi or Pie Town. Or maybe at Pie Town. See you on trail. Hey guys, we've got some good trail magic here, courtesy of the Clyde. <laughs> That's me, the Clyde. <laughs> and Topo. <laughs> hey, yeah. oh, and look at all this. Okay. All this is full of sodas, food. We're going to have a hard time moving on. Look who's back. Uh -huh. Mr. Fabulous oh, yes. and Dr. Fausto. Hello. It's on. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> so, this is the Davila Ranch. Nice little um, camping spot that's maintained by a local trail angel. We're going to stop here tonight. As you can see, we have sink, little kitchen, some food. Over here we've got a toilet in there, a shower, a bunch of hikers that no one needs to know anything about, <laughs> a fridge, <laughs> some laundry, some eggs, wow, and potatoes, wow, plenty in there, thank you nature, finally appearing on the camera.
it's really quite a nice area. And this is the fellow who maintains it all for us. Thank you very much, kind sir. You're welcome. Okay, so we're approaching Pi Town, which is a very small town, has two pie restaurants, famous for its sweet pies, and not much else. No uh, shop for resupply, anything like that. And we have just been told a little while ago that both of the pie restaurants are closed because they're out of food. What devilry is this? That is not the motivation you want when coming into town. There is a store, three mile road walk outside of town, where we can resupply if need be. So, extra six mile round trip, and no pie. Not what we were wanting, but you never know. Maybe we've been misinformed. Maybe we can still get some pie, who knows, we shall see. Just coming into the outskirts of Pie Town now. Ordinarily, my mind would be full of all the tasty things I'm going to eat when I get into town, or what shall I have first? Hamburger, nice soda. But now, this time, this time there may well be nothing. Just a, just a quick pass through, and then it's. Another five days or so to the next town. That is harsh. Hello! So we're just arriving at the famous toaster house, which is where the backpackers generally come when they go through Pie Town. And what no home is complete without? Dozens of hikers. Well, you can tell some hikers have been here. Okay. Oh, 
I wouldn't be leaving until tomorrow morning, but I probably will stay at least till tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so we're hiking out of Pie Town nice and early. There wasn't too much to stick around in Pie Town for right now. I'm hiking with Major and Pirate and Mr. Fabulous are going to catch up with us during the day, hopefully. Dr. Fausto, um, he may be making his own way on to our next town, which is um, what I'm calling Grants, but what everyone else in the country calls Grants. Um, I think I'm going to stick to my way because it feels alien in my mouth. And that's about 75 miles from here. Let's get going. been told this is a nice place for a little break. Would be a nice place to camp, but we're a bit too early for that. like a champion. Oh, oh, God. Every single one. Okay. It's all on the swing. Got a mean swing. Sure could use a spot of shade right now. He's just going to walk along with us up trail. Yeah. Okay, so we've been mostly road walking for the last few days on the trail and just as we've turned off we're now heading towards the El Malpais monument, I think it's pronounced just as we came off the main road we got a nice bit of trail magic from a fella named Highway he pulled over in his van, gave us some water, some food and it turns out 
over the last few years he's been single-handedly building a small 1880s style village um, with a view to opening that up to hikers and anyone else who might want to visit sounds real nice um, unfortunately it's a few miles behind us or else we'd have been very tempted to go and see that but uh, hell of a guy in the unlikely event you ever end up seeing this thank you very much highway most appreciated Stay away from this place, kids. Old man fabulous will chase you away. Oh, he's seen me. Using this would have been a more comfortable night's sleep than the one I had the night before last. Decent view, though. This is why our water sources taste so good. This is exactly why. Mm. Yeah, I took one of the two guys' uh, old cow soup. That's how it's done. There it is, there it is. Mm. Oh, you hear it? Yeah. yeah. He went. Pfft. He got it fast. <laughs> he went. Pfft. Okay, so the last 30 or so miles going into Grants is on a uh, proper road, which is going to be quite tough on the feet, but that's, uh, that's not the worst bit of news for today. Um, one of the people that we're hiking with, uh, Dragon Sky, was able to get some signal on her phone and has found out that starting two days from now, the trail north of Grants, all the way to the Colorado border, is being closed due to excessive wildfire danger. Now, ordinarily, we'd just be able to uh, hike around the area in question, but apparently this is being brought into play for all hiking routes north of Grants. Um, we don't know how long this closure is going to be in place for, Probably until they get some significant rain, which isn't going to happen anytime soon. Um, we may well have to flip, which means travelling to another point in the trail, continuing the hike there and then coming back and doing this section later. It wouldn't be ideal. I'd rather much I'd much rather go from Mexico to Canada in a single unbroken line. Sorry, I'll just wait for this car. Ultimately, we do what we have to do. One of the keys to a successful through hike is to remain flexible. But hopefully, we'll have some more information in a couple of days in Grants. We'll plan our next move there. Catch you down the road.
So we're just having a quick break in a picnic area that's near the Ventura Arch. I've already forgotten what its name is. Um, no doubt I've corrected myself on screen, or at least I hope I have. Um, but yeah, we are enjoying a nice little water break and uh, Buck Wild used his significant charms to uh, get a little more water out of a couple of nice old ladies in the area. So, uh, all is good. Out here in the wild like this, you've always got to keep your wits about you. You never know what weird and dangerous creatures are going to be in the hedgerow you're walking past. So we made it to Grants, where for one night we stayed at a hiker lodge with a number of other hikers, um, which was pretty cool. We got to know a few people, and that night uh, we got to watch the lunar eclipse and have a nice little uh, campfire going in the back garden. It was quite pleasant. That being said, uh, the rooms in there were actually quite warm, so... The next day we moved on to a motel elsewhere in Grants and we hoped that we might get some good news concerning the fire closures that were ahead of us in the state. And given how late this video is being uploaded, I'm sure you probably know by now that the news wasn't what we hoped. Hey guys, so we're still in uh, Grants in New Mexico and the um, the news that we were hoping we wouldn't get, we have now finally gotten. We will not be allowed to continue the CDT north of here um, as far as the Colorado border. And the reason for that is due to extreme risk of wildfires. So unfortunately, that leaves us with no choice but to skip the next 250 miles or so and head up to the Colorado border and continue the continue the walk from there which means that we're not going to complete the whole trail um, so for all of you who have all of you who have donated um, so far I'm very sorry to have let you down like this we will we will do as much of the trail as 
as we're legally allowed to do. Um, but in two days, we're going to head off to Albuquerque via Greyhound. Um, then we're going to catch a train up to Santa Fe. Um, and then our friend, Mr. Fabulous, um, has a contact who is going to give us a ride um, up to the Colorado border. And we'll continue hiking from there. So, our journey's not over. There's still more to see. Still plenty more to do. But we're not going to be able to do it all. Um, and we are pretty bitterly disappointed about that at the moment. Okay, we'll catch you soon. <laughs> <laughs> he got that big smile. Yeah. <laughs>